He sells his drug in an, an illegal market. He just happens to be lucky enough that our laws consider his drug legal, and despite the fact that it's deadly and leads to domestic violence and marijuana does not, he's able to profit from it. And I we're, think we're going to end right there. On the Denver ballot, voters approved a measure that allows possession of less than an ounce of marijuana. As much as this bag of Italian seasonings. Supporters say this is just the beginning. And what we'd like to see is in 2008, a statewide initiative to put together a system in which adults could, private individuals and companies could grow and sell marijuana legally. They would be licensed by the state. Well, don't run out and buy any marijuana because it's illegal to have in Denver. People are going to use marijuana. This election, the city of Denver voted to legalize marijuana possession. Denver, Colorado, yesterday, wow, some residents of the Mile High city would like to get a little higher, apparently. It tells me that Denver is uh, most likely a progressive city, and uh, that makes me happy to come here. Question, do state marijuana laws trump Denver's voter-approved marijuana initiative? We may soon find out. Well, in steps Eric Footer, who may just be their pot poster boy. Footer was ticketed and ordered to pay a fine. This is a person who was in the city of Denver, uh, minding his own business, following what he believed to be the law, which was passed by a majority of voters in the city. In court today, prosecutors abruptly dropped all charges. I'm sure, they're thrilled today with that outcome. Thanks in huge part, as we shift gears now, to the nation's drug czar, the U.S. says that they are winning the war on on drugs. Largely what we have now is a war on drugs that's a war on marijuana. And there's never been a single marijuana overdose in history. It's something we think the people of Colorado uh, would like to see on the ballot. The stage is set for a new kind of drug war here in our state as a proposal to legalize pot goes statewide. From this safer initiative, Mason Tavert really shocked everybody. Uh, you decided to then take that statewide. I didn't think you'd be able to get the signatures required. You got 120,000 signatures. 130. 130. Now, I knew you'd get a whole bunch of signatures, but when you're getting signatures from a bunch of stoners, I didn't think any of them would be good. But you did it. Congratulations. You're Thank on the you. ballot. We're not in this for the politics of it, and we don't care about the other issues. We care about marijuana, and we think that a number of people are going to come out statewide to vote on marijuana. A lot safer than drinking. I think this is something that's safer. The goal of our organization is to educate the public about the fact that marijuana is less harmful than alcohol. Uh, 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 alcohol abuse is wrong. Tavert says, as a realist, he feels voters will agree with him. I don't know when it became a crime to be paranoid or potentially depressed. All I know is people who use marijuana don't die. I mean, it has valid medical properties as recognized by the Colorado Constitution and by the majority of Colorado voters. Ridiculous marijuana laws that push people towards using a more harmful substance than alcohol. Mason Tavert says that he'll be waiting for Coors and Hickenlooper outside the Great American Beer Festival at high noon tomorrow. This is what motorists are seeing as they head home south on Broadway tonight. A new billboard with the president's drug czar's picture in the upper left-hand corner and the inference that he believes that smoking marijuana is the safest thing in the world. Nothing happened. You might think the commercial is pro-pot, but it's not. It's actually anti-drug, produced by the government to suggest marijuana smokers are slackers and losers. Safer, the group promoting Amendment 44, says the commercial actually helps their cause, especially the teen actor's sarcastic line that marijuana is the safest thing in the world. Safest thing in the world. It is the safest thing in the world, and that is a quote. It is not mine. It is the drug czar's via his advertisement. I never said that. What I said to you today is what I tried to say. What we tried to say to fill that blind spot. This is ridiculous. Telling people how dangerous marijuana was, we're not having any effect, and now the drug czar has resorted to simply acknowledging it's a relatively benign substance. But you're a loser if you use that drug. Dressed in a chicken costume, greeted people attending tonight's dialogue with Denver Forum with Mayor John Hickenlooper. Supporters of a plan to make adult marijuana possession the lowest priority of the Denver Police Department began collecting signatures today. We are fed up with this type of system. Needed 4,000, they got almost 10,000 just in 30 days time period. For the third time in three years, Mason Severt is leading the pot fight. But when it comes to simple possession and responsible use, there's absolutely no reason why we need to be making people criminals. Most of these people are here in support of an initiative that would make adult possession of less than an ounce of marijuana, which is the equivalent of about a pack and a half of cigarettes. As much as this bag of Italian seasonings. According to our city officials, it already is a low priority. So we don't see what the big problem is to simply make it our lowest priority.
Alcohol took me to the violent crimes. Alcohol took me to the DUI accidents with fatalities. And Mason, where do you get the whole safer act? I mean, what makes you safer? You smoke dope and all of a sudden you're, you're safe to get on a plane? Where, where do you get that? Denver voters use the ballot box to say busting people for marijuana in the city should be a low priority for police. Well, every objective study on marijuana has concluded that it's far less harmful than alcohol, not only to the people who use it, but to those around them. Well, it doesn't far less harmful to doesn't exactly and equate violence. to safer, though, right? Why don't we call well, it but far, you know, le far less harmful alternative to getting on a plane? One of those two recreational drugs is legal, the other is not. So what that does is, in fact, steer a certain percentage of, of the uh, population toward that product which is legal and that of course is alcohol. Federal agents have to profile in order to catch criminals, drug dealers. Drug dealers? They're sitting in the same pot smoke filled room. How do you tell the difference between Jerry Garcia fan and a drug dealer? Well, you could be uh, as high as possible and you still pose less harm to yourself and those around you than having that one martini. It's simply a fact that when we let adults use alcohol, inevitably some of them are going to be irresponsible and they're going to lend to these serious problems. And I think it's uh, upsetting that this attorney uh, is kind of making a joke out of this. It's not going to be funny when a drunk person causes a serious problem on an airline that puts all the other passengers' safety in jeopardy. So we need to really think well, about this seriously. And go ahead, John. you got 15 seconds. I do Absolutely, I do think it, it, I do think about it seriously. I, look, I, I, in respect to this gentleman, actually, I agree with you. I agree with legalized marijuana. Legalized marijuana. And joining us to debate it is Steve Fox of the Marijuana Policy Project, who advocates legalization. He's also the author of Marijuana is Safer. So why? Are we driving people to drink? What we're confronting here is reality, that people have finally realized that marijuana isn't the dangerous drug that the government has made it out to be for so long. The Institute on Drug Abuse, take, take that for example, uh, says that some of the worst symptoms associated with marijuana withdrawal uh, are irritability, strange dreams, and difficulty mm -hmm. sleeping. The National Women's Marijuana Movement launches in Denver. On the eve of Mother's Day weekend, they want other mothers to join their fight. <clears throat> Excuse me to legalize marijuana. They are professionals, mothers, grandmothers, and students. See, the group's already generating a lot of national attention, partly because of the Mother's Day message, partly because of Colorado's role in the national marijuana debate. People are changing. Times are changing. More people are coming to accept that marijuana is part of our society. It's safer than alcohol. Mason Traverne has always never had a, uh, uh, a loss for comments here. <laughs> This is my favorite story of the week. The city of Denver becoming the first major metropolitan area to legalize small amounts of marijuana. So people are way ahead of this story. In a related story, this is our last show of the season, but Real Time with Bill Maher returns next season in February from our new home, Denver, Colorado. One to the floor and here's the tree stairs. Could it help me with my chronic pain? Could it help me with my chronic nausea? If you're considering medical marijuana as an alternative solution to your condition, choose the safe and legal way. We're the Hemp and Cannabis Foundation, and we've helped over 100,000 patients nationwide obtain permits to legally possess, use, and grow medical marijuana. And we can help you. If you have questions, we have answers. Make the right decision. Call or visit our website today.